first we remove the panels by unscrewing the screws with uh, this hexagonal wrench and collecting those screws separately. First panel and the second panel. It's better to remove this panel as well just because it's gonna help you to uh, access the pump. First we need to unscrew these screws that attach the pump to the frame. One screw is located here, another underneath, and the third is located deeper into the frame connecting, uh, securing the uh, electric motor to the frame. Using this type of ratchet with the 10 millimeter socket we will unscrew a retaining or fixing screw that is located in the back of the frame here Make sure not to lose the washer. Okay, so that's one. Now, using this type of screwdriver, let's unscrew two screws one located here, and another located here. Let's start with the top one. Now the bottom one. Now we disconnect these screws. And the bottom one. So you can see the motor and the uh, connecting part which represents a um, type of round metal where a part with a slit in it that connects the motor shaft with the pump shaft. So let's take out the motor. disconnect it. So we will use valve line synthetic power grease 
it's a black grease like this and we'll put it some of that grease into the coupling cavity along with this part the coupling part basically which will go with the grease here like this so we will use valve line synthetic power grease it's a black grease like this and we'll put it some of that grease into the coupling cavity along with this part the coupling part basically which will go with the grease here like this make sure to align the orientation of the shaft in the same so it's in the same position as the one you took out now you can transfer this coupling part here now this coupling part I have a spare but you will just simply transfer this one over here will be positioned <coughs> with the same angle of this, of this uh, slit as the original part this will facilitate repositioning and reattachment of the new pump motor to the old pump head make sure not to lose this part this is a spacer it's important to keep it in place now let's reposition and reconnect the motor And the last screw goes in the back. I usually actually remove I remove this extension. It's easier.
Now we connect the electrical connector. Now we place back panels. So you need to fasten those with corresponding screws and place the last temperature barrier panel where it belongs and you are done.